Shazam's boy turned super dude Billy Batson is a much needed bolt of bright, cheerful lightning for the normally dark and brooding DCEU. In addition to being a great movie, the film was also filled with nerdy Easter eggs for longtime comic book fans. Here are some of the small details we noticed in Shazam. Spoilers ahead. While Shazam may be synonymous with DC Comics today, The Big Red Cheese was originally published by Fawcett Comics, beginning in 1939. Back then, he was known as Captain Marvel. No, it's not. It's not my, it's not my name. But that's a whole other story. His 1939 birthday makes him just slightly younger than Superman, but those few months would have a huge impact. In 1941, DC launched a campaign against Fawcett to get them to stop publishing Captain Marvel, alleging that he was just a copy of Superman. During the prolonged legal battle, which lasted until 1953, DC even creatively borrowed some story aspects from Captain Marvel, including his power to fly rather than just leap tall buildings and his bold-headed arch-nemesis. The court decided in favor of DC an outcome that crippled Fawcett. Later in 1972, DC bought the rights to a number of Fawcett characters that they were no longer allowed to use, including Captain Marvel. But there seems to be no lingering hate between DC and what was once Fawcett Comics, as DC drops a pretty bold tribute to Shazam's true origins. Plastered across the lunchroom wall is the name of Billy's alma mater, Fawcett Central. That wasn't the last name drop that the movie had in store, though. When Billy's foster family finds the real names of Billy's parents, his father is simply identified as C.C. Batson a very clear reference to Shazam's original co-creator, C.C. Beck. Shazam fans probably recognize Mr. Mind imprisoned in a glass dome as Savannah entered the Rock of Eternity, even before the film's mid-credits scene gave the little worm a full reveal. That character is called Mr. Mind, and he's a squirmy little worm with a very weird backstory. He's from outer space, he's friends with Nazis, and runs a monster society. Sometimes he can even eat dimensions. After Savannah returns to the Rock of Eternity as an adult and defeats the wizard Shazam, he not only lets the seven deadly enemies of man escape, but Mr. Mind also breaks out, setting up the weirdest mid credit scene of all time. Young Billy Batson is separated from his teenage mother after she fails to win him a stuffed tiger at a carnival. Later on, Shazam hands a tiger doll to a terrified young girl to calm her. There are tigers on Shazam's costume. So what's up with all these tigers? As always, there's a reason rooted in comics. One of Billy's best friends is a talking tiger, obviously. That tiger, Mr. Talky Tawny, first appeared in 1947's Captain Marvel Adventures issue 79, where it was revealed that he's just an ordinary tiger who really, really wanted to wear clothes and eat ice cream after consuming a brain-energizing serum. Why does he need his fancy brain potion? To defend himself against the murder he'd been accused of, of course. It's all weird. Tawny hops on a boat and shows up in the city, where everyone is terrified of free-roaming tigers, even when they politely ask questions. All is resolved, however, when Captain Marvel secures Tawny a job as a museum guide. All's well that ends well, and Tawny is given a place among the Marvel family. If we already have talking worms, talking tigers can't be that far behind. And speaking of talking animals, Somewhere on the Rock of Eternity, there's a giant cavern full of doors to different worlds. One door in particular opens up to crocodiles playing poker, and they aren't just an invention for the movie. The crocodile men from the planet Punkus first showed up in the early days of Captain Marvel Adventures, and have names like Sylvester, Herkimer, and Jork, working alongside Mr. Mind and his monster Society of Evil. Much later in 2006, a talking croc named Sobek shows up, and a few weeks later, longtime Shazam villain Black Adam tears him apart and makes boots out of his skin. So no matter how you look at it, those card shark crocs were actually kind of a big deal, and they'll probably be back for more. Even though Dr. Savannah and Mr. Mind are some of Shazam's most memorable foes, there's one that's even more notable, Black Adam. DC announced Black Adam's solo movie in January of 2017, and it was supposed to show up before Shazam, so what gives? The wizard Shazam mentions in the film that he had a previous champion who'd betrayed him, and there's little doubt that he's referring to Black Adam. In the original comic books, Black Adam is given the powers of the six ancient gods, but uses them selfishly. So the wizard banishes Black Adam to outer space. Adam spends 5,000 years trying to make it back to Earth, and when he does, he jealously terrorizes Billy Batson for many more decades. So, even though we've set up for a Mr. Mind Savannah team up in Shazam 2, it's a good bet that the wizard's old champion will be showing up for a fight too. 
Shazam has been described as Superman meets Big, and that comparison couldn't possibly be more appropriate, especially after seeing one specific scene in the movie. While Tom Hanks and Robert Loggia may enjoy a charming duet in the middle of FAO Schwartz on a king-size floor piano in Big, Shazam gives its own spin on the scene during the shopping mall battle between Shazam and Savannah. While they don't quite make the same beautiful music together, the colossal piano they wind up fighting on drives the connection home. And if you're looking for truly vintage references, look no further than the iconic cover of 1945's Superman issue 32, where Superman shrugs off lightning bolts with a casual, it tickles. Similar words are spoken by Shazam while bullets bounce off of him, really bringing home that this guy is as powerful as the big blue boy scout. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite DC movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.